Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another little radio video. Today is November 16th, 2021. It is 8.28 p.m. here in Southern Illinois or 2.28 UTC. I done a video the other day highlighting the Simons World Map and today I want to just do a quick one on his other program, SDR Console. Now I'm not sponsored by Simon or anything like that. I use SDR Uno and I use SDR Console. And you've probably seen SDR Uno on my other videos. But this is the new version of SDR Console. It's beta right now, I think it's version 3.1. So um, let's take a look at it real quick. Let's open it up. Here is um, of course what it looks like and some things if you've used SDR console uh, this looks pretty familiar to you um, SDR console version 3.1 as I said this is beta version I think but he has put a couple of other things in here you can see it in the show and the the notes on the download page and I'll put the link to that download page in the description but um, here you have the R receive frequency, of course, speakers. I have virtual audio cable installed, but right now I'm using the speakers, an equalizer, uh, different settings there. Here is the spectrum for the received audio. Mute the sound, of course, your volume. Here's your modes. I have them all showing. I like them all to show. I like all the filters to show. You have AGC off, fast, medium, slow. You can customize the AGC to your liking. Or you can revert it back. Uh, CW, peak, that's not enabled. You have a noise blanker, noise reduction right here. Four different different noise blankers or noise reduction you can use. Auto notch, auto squelch, uh, squelch for FM, CTCSS, AM a single sideband so if you do a squelch here and an auto enable it will adjust itself which is pretty cool uh, let's see in the home tab you have you can select your radio it'll run a lot of different radios I'm using my SDR play RSPDX you can all I can also run my ICOM uh, 8600 on this but I I've only plugged it in one time because to me my ICOM is a standalone receiver but I only I did plug it in one time when I wanted to decode some CW because for some reason ICOM didn't doesn't have a CW recorder on the 8600 they got all these other modes but not a CW so I, I wanted to decode some CW and some um, weather facts and um, nav techs, and I had to plug it in the computer and do that but this will run the 8600, it'll run the dongles, it'll run, and like I said, I use my RSD, SDR Play RSPDX. This is where you start the radio. Again, when this is going, you can select the bandwidth. Uh, you can calibrate it to where it's dead on frequency. You can set the frequency and display span. Uh, this is your previous frequency, so if you want to jump back and forth between two different say WWV on 5 and WWV on 10 and compare them you could you could just jump back and forth without having to type it all in this is uh, your history this is all the frequencies you've tuned and I believe you can go down the history and just select which one it'll tune it keep the program on top of others all these are you know he does a good job like I said of telling you what lock the program you can take a screenshot auto mute uh, noise blanker frequency database once you load the EIBI you um, let's see this right here you when this is highlighted it tracks the receiver so every time you change the frequency your um, this will pop this list will pop will update because right now I'm on uh, Radio Japan and it should be on here somewhere 
Yeah, right here, NHK Radio Japan. Now, if I was to go to 6000, which is Cuba, you can see right there, Radio Havana, Cuba. And here's the times. And that That's pretty cool there. Uh, in the view, you got the signal meter. You can select either an analog meter, a digital meter, have it default or the signal to noise ratio and show you that and you can have it for best accuracy that's a new that's a new feature he's put in this, this shows you the peaks of the strongest signal and again you can play with all of this stuff maximum level band plan now that's this is pretty cool this is a new thing right here the band plan see it says 49 meters but we have signals just outside of the 49 meters so you can go to band plan editor you could do um, 49 meters edit and then you could change this to a 58 click OK and when you went out this would automatically adjust and show the new band it also shows the hand bands and utility bands I think which is pretty awesome uh, these are markers these display the text mark markers to the uh, frequencies and you can config have it configured the way you want you can edit it the appearance change the colors so these names these are the names of stations up here and and these aren't already there I've added all of these and you can you can um, let me find it again markers you can like add a current your frequency will pop up you type in the name of it click OK and it will show up right there and then if the station moves and later on you you can just remove it and you can put it where the station moved to that's pretty neat DX cluster signal history you, here you can change the color scheme of the waterfall you have all these different ones you can change the resolution you can really make the waterfall detail but it doesn't it use more CPU and memory here you can do the speed of the waterfall uh, the windowing and the, change the different windowing options you can timestamp in the waterfall display you can have the tuning bars the tuning bars you see right here the tuning bars will extend all the way down and you can see if you're lined up uh, RDS is for local FM uh, you can superimpose a clock on the waterfall display which is right here you can remove it you can have it UTC and GMT you can have the waterfall information you know about the signal strength and and what the frequency span and all of that so that's pretty handy mouse over buttons you know of course receive this you know you can do all of this here keyboards the equalizer transmit I'm not using any I'm not using a transceiver so I don't have any there record you can record the audio when it's running you can record data you can record video you can uh, open the schedule so you can schedule a recording if, so you can if you want to listen to something you're not going to be at your computer you can schedule it and it will record it for you uh, favorites uh, miscellaneous is just things I've added WWV it has all your time stations and CHU in here this is uh, our local weather for and aircraft and police that is for the UHF VHF side uh, I have some aircraft programmed in there a lot of my local police fire and stuff is programmed in there just select it and it will go to it local FM radio these are your broadcast all your bands and if you want to change band just 31 and there's a 31 meter band you want to go back to 49 and there's the 49 meter band. Uh, all your am all your amateur bands are in there. 
these are your memories if you have certain um, favorite stations you want to add to memories you can do it there tools you disable your screensaver stuff like that you can back up all your settings and your favorites and stuff that's that's a new thing he's added and you can this you can have this not displayed which I have so let's start this up real quick and we'll see. so let's tune it to Radio Japan turn that down that's NHK Radio Japan and if I load the database NHK Radio Japan 02 UCT to 04 Turn that down so I don't get a copyright Which I'll probably get hit on that but Here's Radio Havana Cuba and again, if you want to go to 31 meter, oh, let's say 41 meter, 41 meter. And let's go let's see. 31 meter is working tonight. And it's going to lock up to the 40. A las que podemos encontrar aquí. Eh, es una iglesia rupestre sí, de la más importante. Es espectacular, eh, aunque resulta un poco difícil. But it's uh, and this over here you can all your your waterfall you can change it make it as bright as you want. I, I just do auto sometimes and it'll adjust it. But uh, it's it's uh, here's what the digital one looks like. So let's look at the um, the analog. Looks like that. I like the digital one though because it remind it's like my uh, my icon. So I like that one. Plus it tells me that. But yeah, this is uh, SDR console version 3.1. It's in beta right now, and I'm using this with an SDR Play RSPDX. And you can get rid of this and just have it all like that. And then just the uh, ESP, and it's right back there again. And there's, this does a lot of stuff. It would take a long video to show all of it. But this is, um, it's a nice one. This, I like SDR console because it, it does some things better than SDR Uno, but I also like SDR Uno because it does some things I like too. That's why I use both of them. <coughs> and, um, but uh, I don't know, there's just something about SDR console that I really like because I used this in the beginning when I first started messing with SDRs back in 2014, somewhere around there. And I just, I don't know, I just like it. And again, I'm not sponsored by Simon or anything like that. I just like the way it works. And uh, this, a lot of people are familiar with this program. So, you know, if you're not and you use SDR, it's it's worth a try and stuff. It's, it's uh, really good, I think. But uh, anyway, just just a little quick video here, and um, gonna go do some listening and see what's going on on the bands tonight. So um, I'll leave a link to the download and the information about this. So if you want to read about it and check it out. So until then, take care, everyone, and I will see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.